All right, so with these prone Ws, um, we are thinking a lot about what's happening with the upper body, but at the same time, I don't want you to lose sight of what's going on between your ribs and hips. So what we do not want to do is dump everything through the lower spine. So what I'm going to have you do is think about drawing your belly button up off of the mat or whatever surface you're lying on. Keep that up. As we go through basically a W position, you're going to find that you have to work a lot harder to stabilize the midsection. If you think about it in the context of swimming, it's going to keep you in a much better position so that you're not arching the back and dropping your hips down. So forehead against the mat. I'm going to relax my legs, pull my shoulder blades together, get my shoulders away from my ears, and now pull the belly button up. So what a lot of people do is they flex their hip. All I want you to do is draw your belly button up, keep your legs relaxed. From here, as you go forward, actively try to sink your shoulders down as you send the arms up, and then right back down. After the tenth one, maintain the upper body, and then we're gonna lift the legs, bring the head up a little bit, and hold this for 15 to 20 seconds. So remember, through the W portion, we wanna make sure that we're really keeping the legs relaxed, not dumping everything through the lower back. Keep that belly button drawn in. Try to keep your shoulders down as your arms go up. And then once you finish that, we'll go into a little bit of a modified Superman where we can bring the legs up, keep the belly button drawn up, maintain the upper body, and hold that for 15 to 20 seconds.